Hi everyone, I'm Sandy Lene. Welcome to Psychic Creations. We have a very interesting show for you today. As you can see, we are on location at the historic and famous Dake House in Genoa, Nevada. Now for the program today, the owner of this building, which its title is the business that is held in this is Antiques Plus, is hosting a spirit tour here tonight. And we, Thin Veil Investigators, are going to be holding a spirit gathering. So please join us, come on in, and have fun. Welcome Hello. to the day house, everyone. And um, the star of the show is the spirit painting. And this was um, documented by the Spirit in, or the Psychic Institute in Reno, and um, they were the ones who brought it to my attention after it was causing so much trouble, which was every time I wanted to sell it, it would fall off the wall. And the first time it fell off, it started a fire because it hit the plug and it pulled the plug out of the wall. And you can see how close the plugs are. Well, that one's behind us. How much do you want for it? Yeah. <laughs> Watch this, Eddie. I don't want to be under it if, if you do that. <laughs> so, um, the first time it started the fire, and then the second time I was willing to sell it, it fell, I put it in a different room, and it had fallen off the wall and hit a display of glassware, oh. broke every single piece. But as you see, there's no marks on the frame, no marks on the painting, it's still an absolutely perfect shape. And um, I was told that that painting, the reason it acts up like that is because it's a talisman for me. And it wants to make sure it stays with me. Although I don't know why, because I don't like it. But, um, Shh. <laughs> you're standing under it. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> it's, it's sensitive. But, um, this is. This is a picture of the original spirit painting, which was in the Church of Spiritualism in San Francisco, run by Florence Becker, who was a very, very noted psychic. And what she would do is she would um, have her psychic gatherings, and she would always have a blank canvas alongside and she had a scarf over it. And many, many years she did the thing and nothing, it was always blank at the end, except for the one time when this showed up. And then that one is not the original, but if you look at the original, I'll pass that around, and look at this one, there's a little bit of a difference. But no not, flowers on this side. Right. Right, they're not laying on the table. So where did you acquire the painting? Originally? It belonged to my mother, okay. who loved it dearly, and that's why that room is painted the color it is, okay. because that's the same color as the roses. Yeah, I think now I remember. Yeah, so that's in your book, right? And, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and um, I, I just hated that shade of pink, and then she painted that room that color. And it made me, that's probably why I hated the painting, is because of that color. pink room. So, um... Wouldn't the painting be better in there if it's pink? No? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it wouldn't, it would kind of blend in. But, um... So, it belonged to her. I don't know where she got it. Um, she knew Florence Becker quite well. So I don't know if it came, because it appeared to me after the Florence Becker episode in our lives, you know, because I went to see her, my mother went to see her, and, and she knew us all. And then this showed up, and I don't know where it came from. But, um, but apparently it has some significance. And um, uh, Sandy sees the orb up in the corner. So um, she catches that on film almost every time. I don't, but she does. 
So that's pretty much any questions about the painting. Well, Sandy, didn't you say in your book that there's a lady that has a death grip on this thing or mm -hmm. something? Mm -hmm. Is she right now there? Oh, yeah. So in your book... Mm -hmm. um, you well, can I tell that story just real quick? Oh, sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here, let me step... No, you're fine. You're, you're good. Are you you're sure? Good. Yeah, you're no. good. Well, Martha used to have Renaissance fairs out here in the side and back of her beautiful place here. And um, she asked me one Friday when we were setting up for the fair, she asked me one Friday, she said, there's something on this painting. Can you come in and just take a look, see who it is, because she knows I have an ability where I see the deceased. So I came in, and there's a young woman, and we found out her name was Mary, and she does not want Martha to ever sell that painting. And that's why when someone was interested in it, it would fall off because it didn't want to go anywhere. So Martha and I had a big long talk with Mary and she's always right over here in this corner. She's got a death grip on, <laughs> no pun intended, on the painting because she just doesn't want it sold. So we talked with Martha, Martha said, okay, it'll stay here. And you know, it was really interesting for quite a few years, this was like in 2005 or six, when it I, was a long time ago. Yeah, when I when you asked me to come in. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until just, I think, about two years ago in October when you had your spirit tour then that I actually saw Mary off over in here. Before, she would never leave that painting. It was always in her arms. So she is here today. If you happen to take pictures of the painting and you see orb <laughs> on it, around it, that's Mary because she loves her um, painting. She just she just loves it and she's very happy that it's here because Mary really loves Martha too. Yeah, I heard that if I ever did get rid of it, the painting would destroy itself before it ever left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why it was falling off the wall so many times. And uh, besides that... It touched me. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> she just touched me. Oh, I got shivers. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> they said that I, I would have horrible luck from then on if I got rid of the painting. Mm -hmm. So here it stays. Mm -hmm. And um, even my husband, who's a skeptic, said, don't you ever give rid of that painting. <laughs> <laughs> he said the house will burn down or something, so. Yeah, that's an awesome painting though. And I wish all of you could see Mary because she's she's very um, attractive looking woman, okay? What did we say? I, I can't even remember my notes in my book. 1920s or so. I don't wish remember. You, I don't even remember. But she's But the book, the book is right there mm -hmm. on a stand. Yeah. So. Yeah. For sale here. So if you haven't bought one, you should. <laughs> it's a good read. Yeah. Oh, well, thank yeah. you, Michael. Yeah. yeah. This is the cornerstone from the undertaking parlor that was um, swept away in the avalanche. And this is what's left. There's some other stones here that are left. And this stone seems to have energy attached to it. And people that stand on it will feel either tingling coming up their legs, dizzy or nauseous. Uh, right now, I am not feeling anything. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Last right. time I did. So yeah. let's let somebody else yeah. try it. Well, I'll give it a try. Well, like I... Like I felt just a second ago when I was standing on this. I feel like my legs are like rubber. Isn't that funny? And we've had other people say that too. Their legs feel like jelly or rubber. Or they're being pushed off or... Uh-huh. Now there's been times where, yeah, I've stood on this and it's just like, I just want to whoop or backwards. I feel like I want to, well, like I'm being pushed. Not like I want to fall, but being pushed. And then like Martha was saying, we've had a lot of people say they'll get nauseous, they'll get dizzy. So anybody want to give it a try here? See if you feel anything? Sure. Sure! There you yeah, go. Not right. one. Yeah. You feeling anything special there, Debbie? Like Carolyn said, warmer legs. Like it's coming up if I stood here long enough. Oh, cool. I said, I'm not leaving, I'm warm. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I'm, 
to you too? Yeah? Okay. How cool. Yeah, it feels like you're going to tip over. <laughs> it's almost instant, right around my knees. Where you get the, the feeling of the warmth. The warmth. Isn't that interesting? I'll be darned. Oh, God, it feels good. <laughs> Isn't, I love that. I just love where people will, well, and then, like, you know, some, they won't feel a thing. Yeah, Nothing. and I didn't feel anything this time. Yeah. I all, usually always uh -huh, do. Uh -huh. There's been times, though, I've stood on this. It's like, okay, come on. Then yeah. Happens. It just doesn't like me that day, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, nice and warm. warm. You're warm. Awesome. Yeah. You're very good. Is everybody well, done? Okay, I'll try it one more time. Okay. Yeah. See if I, can. I know my nose is running. Everybody knows my nose is I know. <laughs> That's it. Oh, that's good. That's good yeah. That's good <laughs> but usually I get real dizzy on it. I'm mm -hmm. not dizzy. No. Nope. You do. That's right. You do. You get dizzy. You're like, yeah, I get dizzy on it too. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the day house and to our spirit gathering. We are Thinville investigators and we love conducting spirit gatherings. <laughs> what we are going to be doing is trying to find Bernice, which is the owner's mother, and we are going to be calling forth a little boy, the Union soldier, and hopefully too we can have the Native American man come up and say hi to us from the basement. So what I like to do first is talk a little bit about what a spirit gathering is. And the word seance comes from the French language. The meaning is a bit boring, actually, because it merely suggests doing something while sitting. Now, during many years of attending paranormal and spiritual events, I have come to learn that the word seance can frighten people, as it drums up images of bouncing tables, candlesticks being tossed about, ectoplasm oozing out of a medium's nose, and other scary and unappealing visualizations. So I have devised a gentler term and that is a spirit gathering. And that is what we are going to be doing, gathering spirits around us for hopefully connections and communications. Now I conduct my spirit gatherings a little differently than the usual seance where you make a circle by clasping hands. It's too easy for one to become frightened. Let go of your neighbor's hands and break the circle, thus ending the seance. I ask that we all join our thoughts instead. We are here for a common goal, to communicate with the spirit, and really no hand-holding is needed for that. Also, instead of inviting just any entity to visit with us, in our spirit gatherings, I like to be a little more selective and ask only the spirits that are familiar with this building to join us for this occasion. Now, I can't guarantee that a spirit or any spirits will communicate with us, but I'd like to ask all of you to help me in calling forth the energies of those who were once here. That task is easy. Just think of those who once stayed, lived, or worked here, coming to visit us. If you would, please listen for unusual sounds, whispers. Let us know if you feel any sensations or a touch. You might smell a fragrance outside of the incense that we have to, to start up for a second or two. Now, if you take photos during the session, let us know if you capture an anomaly. 
interaction of your thought and manner is always good for bringing forth those from the other side for communications. Communicating with the spirits is fun, not scary, and that is why I conduct a spirit gathering. Now what I like to do is open the circle, open the spirit gathering, and we do that first with lighting incense. This special fragrance invites the spirits to visit and will protect the room from those entities that are not wanted here. All right, now next we ring the bells. As ringing the bells to let the far-reaching spirits know that we would like to speak with them. And now we light the candle, as this deed lets the spirit world know that a door has been opened and an invitation is given to come in and visit. Very nice. All right, now if you would, please repeat after me. The light of the candle, the light of the candle represents our willingness, represents our willingness to recognize any spirit to recognize any spirit familiar with this building. Familiar with this building. Please come through now. Please, Please come, come through, through now. And be with us. And be with us. This invitation is only. This, this invitation is only for spirits of good intent. For, for spirits of good intent. Spirits with harmful. Spirits with harmful. Or destructive intent or destructive intent, intent must stay out must stay, must stay out. out all right now i ask you to be aware uh, of your environment um, uh, if you smell something different than the the incense if you feel a sensation a touch a sound okay now how about if we try and call forth martha's mother her name is bernice and she's the one that purchased this home in Remodeled. <laughs> no, not remodeled. remodeled. I know, I said that down. <laughs> she would slap you for I that. I know, that's why I'm <laughs> hoping she does it too. <laughs> All right, let's see. So Bernice, could you come door. forth for yeah. us? We'll give you 10 seconds. If you could make a noise for us, please. that she's here I feel like I'm being pushed I don't know if my posture is if it's showing up or not but I <laughs> I really feel like I need to be pushed off of, of here and I'm standing I think okay I just feel like I need I pushed being pushed forward so maybe Bernice is telling me to get away from her her case of <laughs> beautiful items right here did uh, any of you happen to feel anything before you started that, the doorbell went off again. Okay. Is you there know, usually a perfumey smell in here? Any, uh, no, I smell that. No, no, before that. Oh, I yeah, like I smelled a perfume. Mm -hmm. Did you? In here. You know yeah. what I did too? It's very fancy. It was like a very yeah. soap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a nice soap. Mm -hmm. Oh. Smell. Well, nice. Earlier, before we, yeah. when we first came in here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, see, there's the bell again. Yeah, there it goes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. And I heard that before, too, Martha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The door was well, open. Oh, that was the you. door was open? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Somebody oh. must have come in then. <laughs> your, your, your spirits are learning how to do use the door handle. <laughs> okay, now, let's try and call forth a little boy. He's about, like, five just the cutest little thing now he does normally stay up in the children's room but when we have done our spirit gatherings here we have had people tell us oh, you wouldn't believe the little little you know wee essence that i felt come to me and sit on my lap one lady said she felt him like lean up against her she was sitting on the in the corner so let's try i don't know what his name is but let's try to summon up the little boy can you do that for us we'll give you 10 seconds to Give us a sound, a sign.
<laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to giggle and break this, but there is something revolving around in that room there that caught my attention, and it's like, okay, well, maybe that might be him coming through. Oh, I see it, like the yeah. string that's hanging there. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I see it too, it's moving, it's going. <laughs> It so, was just turning, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, the one for the light? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, don't know if that was moving. him or not, but uh, I was just, it just captured my, my attention. The reflection was, uh, was well, reflecting off of it. <laughs> Did anybody else feel something? Well, be aware, he's, he's really noticeable by many people. So if you go upstairs, like I said, to the south bedroom, you'll probably see him, feel him, hear him, because he's always looking for his rocking horse. So you'll feel him up there. All right, now another one here. Is I would like to see if Mary from The Haunted Painting can come in here and say hello to us. See if she'll venture this far over, okay? Mary, can you do that? We'll give you 10 seconds. You can make a noise for us or give us a sign. I'm hearing wind chimes. Is, do you have wind chimes in here? No, outside. Oh, they're out. Oh, okay. Well, darn. <laughs> but it's only one. It's not a bunch of chimes hitting together. Oh, okay. It's just one like gong. Oh, okay. Oh. I just got a chill. Did you just get Major a chill? chill? Well, maybe she can venture out further now. Awesome. Well, thank you, Mary. Did any one of you? Did you feel something or hear a sound? All right, well, let's see. Let's try the Union Soldier. He's always very, very interesting. He likes to stay in that room right there for some reason. I asked him one year, why is it that you like to stay here? And he says, because it's warm in here. Well, I'm sure if they were in an encampment, it's probably always cold, so they had to stay in tents. So if the Union Soldier can come through, can you give us a sign or make a noise? Now that's interesting. I know that there was a ticking back here, but it was like over here I could hear a clock ticking. Did you hear? I heard the ticking over here. Did you hear that? Okay, okay. Yeah, I heard it coming from this mm -hmm. area. Okay, interesting. You Did, did he you? ride a horse? I'm sure that maybe he did, but what, he walked through he here, here and, and he yeah, did. Yeah, right, but mm -hmm. I, I just... Did you get a flash of a horse? Just, mm -hmm. Oh, with, with the rider. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Somebody riding. Well, that's awesome because, I mean, this was a town that had lots of... And T. Did Hawkins. you get a picture of him? Yeah, I'm recording right now. He's... Is he walking around in there? Awesome. Well, thank you, Mr. T. Stolen. Hawkins was the Pony Express rider. So maybe you're picking up the wrong oh, guy. That's right. mm. Well, maybe so. Awesome. That's who you're probably picking up, the Pony Express rider. Could be. I'll be darned. Hey, you're cool. <laughs> you're awesome. <laughs> All right, let's try for the indigenous man. A lot of times we don't really summon him, though. He's, he's kind of private, okay? But let's just see if maybe he'll give us a fragrance or a sign or something. Can you do that for us tonight? Okay, I just got real cold all of a sudden, a real a chill. I don't know if it is if the uh, Native American man or not, but I just got a real chill, like somebody just walked through me. Did any of you feel a coldness or? No, but I could hear something over there. That's why I looked at Jack to see if he was using the camera. Did he you hear that boo boo? I heard, I heard it was a sting, but it was like over here. Oh, awesome, okay. Just a little ding. Just Did you hear like two? I, did when I did you see me look out the window? Because I, okay. I, I thought maybe it was the wind hitting. I don't know. Well, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I heard something, so I, I looked over here, so that might have been what you heard. Mm -hmm. But I also heard something a, a squeak over by Jack. So. How cool is that? All right. Well, thank you.
like this, parents. This is great. Debbie's recording all of you in that other room over there. So, <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. Well, this was fun. Um, now that we've like opened the door, when you're walking around in here, you probably feel and see the spirits because we've invited them in. So let's hope that they give everybody a nice show tonight, okay? All right. Now, I think what I'd like to do so we can all go investigating, I'm going to be ending the spirit gathering, okay? Now, if you could, please repeat after me. Our hearts and minds, Our hearts and minds. Are, still are still open to the spirits. But by blowing out the candle, the invitation for deliberate communications on this night is now closing. Thank you all who came to visit. Mm -hmm. Yay! You guys were awesome. You guys are awesome. the other way this time. You're listening, aren't you? for watching Psychic Creations. It was a pleasure to have you all here tonight with us. Now, if you would like to be a special guest on Psychic Creations, please note that the content of the show is metaphysical, spiritual, paranormal, and lots of fun. You can get a hold of me to ask about a guest a speaker's um, a position <laughs> at my website which is www.sandypsychicstones.com or you can get a hold of me on my email which is admin at sandypsychicstones.com again thank you so much for watching psychic creations and we'll see you next show <laughs>